Welcome to Joe's Astrology. This is the birth chart for Summit Nagal. That's Nagal, N-A-G-A-L. He's an Indian professional tennis player. I think he's the number one Indian tennis professional in the world right now. And it's interesting that he's in the news right now and he's questioning his tennis. He's questioning his tennis journey, uh, from what I understand. And Chiron is right on his Saturn in Aries. And his Saturn in Aries is retrograde. It's uh, showing this redoing of his of his Saturn, and Saturn is in Aries. Uh, Saturn could be representative of his work or something that's um, very karmic in this life, something that's a test. Saturn is a tester. So he's being tested in the competitive arena of professional tennis. And uh, we see that with Chiron there, it's really ticking off that Saturn. And you see there's also a lot of Virgo. He has North Node, North Node, Venus, and Mercury in Virgo. We don't have the birth time for him, so this is not the correct, these are not the correct houses. Um, he also has a lot of inconjuncts and quincuxes. So we're looking at a guy who has to make some adjustments in the, this life, and we're talking about tennis. Very difficult to uh, make it in tennis and could be with this Chiron transiting his Saturn, he's uh, looking for answers and what he wants to do to um, what he, what maybe what, he, what changes he wants to make in order to get to the top, what decisions he wants to make. He's really analyzing his game, analyzing his situation here with Virgo. Uh, and we see with the North Node, I'll put a description down below in the description box, the North Node, I just talked about this in a video. And he has Mercury moving towards the North Node, Venus moving away from the North Node. Uh, so very a very fortunate person with that Venus. And Mercury there, is, it, something in this life is coming to fruition. And I also did uh, a video, I just did a video where someone, uh, I believe it was Aaliyah, had South Node in Pisces. And you can see he's coming from this dreamlike place of imagination and um, maybe world travel, and he's bringing it in this life. Oh, you could even say tennis, because Jupiter and Neptune rules Pisces, and you know tennis is a very Pisces-type sport. And he's really, really been working on this with that North Node. That's what this is showing. He's really been working on trying to improve his tennis and maybe climb the ladder of professional tennis. And we see that the Mars is with his Chiron. So we have right now, we have the Chiron Saturn and the Mars Chiron in the birth chart. And Mars is in Scorpio, the sign that it rules. So something here with that Chiron Mars, and, and maybe there's some trauma indicated in this chart we can look at that this guy, I don't know if he's had injury issues with that Mars Chiron, but definitely something, some kind of wound around uh, his competitiveness and not being able to get what he wants out of the the sport of tennis. We see down here in Uranus, I'm pointing, I want to look at Uranus because Jupiter's retro, or Saturn is retrograde, and Uranus here is in its own sign retrograde in Aquarius, and it's making a square to that Mars and Chiron. And anytime we see Uranus in the chart uh, that's prominent or Aquarius or the 11th house or aspects with Uranus, there could be an indication of some kind of trauma. So we see that with the Mars. I, I don't know that much about this guy, but I'm sure that it, it, with thinking of tennis, he's probably dealing with a lot of injury issues, and that's po possibly what has held him back. We see with that. Even though the North Node is emphasize here with those planets it is in Virgo and Virgo can deal with injuries and illnesses uh, having to work through those types of things we see here with Uranus it's conjunct Jupiter could be some issues with travel with philosophy like what is his philosophy around tennis and how he approaches the game also could argue it's making a 
conjunction with the moon. We don't know where the moon is exactly because we don't have the time, but let's just say he has a moon-Neptune conjunction, and that really is emphasizing that south node in Pisces as well, where he's coming from this place of creative ability and performance. And that moon could be in Aquarius, I believe, or definitely either, either or. could be with Aquarius or it could be conjunct uh, Uranus, which also indicates there could be some trauma, there could be some issues with the mother as well involved there. Now he's a son in Leo. You can see the sun is making a aspect to Venus there and possibly the Mars, adding more um, more evidence of him being a professional tennis player and someone who makes money, can or can, has the ability to make money. Um, but with, with Virgo there, you can see, the, again, the need for adjustment to get to make money. Obviously, the, the strong Mars sex uh, squaring the sun. There's a, you know, a, a Mars person here who's uh, having some trouble, some obstacles that he has to overcome when it comes to being a uh, competitive tennis player. The inconjuncts are here in the green. We see there's one between Jupiter and Mercury exact, and that's a Scorpio inconjunct. So we see the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, we see the uh, interplay there between Aquarius, the Aquarius, Jupiter, and the Virgo, Mercury, and that is more indication of making an adjustment or changes in order to um, acquire the money to in order to play professional tennis. And we see the in conjunct between looks like Jupiter and the Sun. Oh, I'm sorry, that's an opposition. Uh, I was looking at Neptune, Neptune and the Sun. And there's an inconjunct between Jupiter and the North Node as well. So definitely see that in the more indication that there's this kind of some kind of trauma, some kind of trauma or not getting the right information that is holding him back from, or maybe not not enough money, not having enough money. Any one of these things is holding him back from achieving his dream of being a top professional tennis player. Thanks for watching and check out my other videos. Um, if you're a tennis fan, I got many videos on tennis players. Please subscribe to the channel for more great astrology content. And I hope you have a great day.